here, over here right now. Listen up. If you're here, it means you want to play ball after you graduate. You guys all could have been studs on your high school team, but you need to show the college scouts in the stands today. You've got what it takes to be part of their program. This is your proving ground, guys. If you do well today, colleges will be fighting to recruit you. When your position's called, men, get out there. You know what it means to leave it on the field? Leave it. Show us you deserve to be here. Yo, welcome to a brand new series that I'm introducing, man. Gerard Holman running back out of North Shore, Texas, man. And at this point, you know, this kid had one heck of a senior career campaign and really didn't get a lot of offers, man. You know, a couple from Mississippi Valley State, Grambling State, you know, one other, you know, Power 5 school, the University of Houston. So he pretty much came into this camp with no offers and Houston offered this guy. And of course, he took it because who not who wouldn't want to play, you know, Division One football? I mean, your dream is to play football, but you get a scholarship to play for a Division One. You're going to jump on the opportunity more so than the Division 2 and Division 3. You know what I mean? So, in this camp, you know, nobody really know his name. And he came into this camp, showed up and showed out, man. And, you know, that's how he became and got the offer. Now, I know all y'all speculating. I still got the save foul for Kiwan Blackwood. I still had that foul, but it just... At the first couple of episodes, y'all was engaged. Y'all was, you know, first couple of episodes was crazy, you know what I mean? But as I start, you know, blowing teams out in All-American, I really didn't jump up into that Heisman setting. And the series became pretty much a downfall after that, you know what I mean? I was blowing out teams that I shouldn't be blowing out, you know what I mean? It wasn't competitive and y'all lost interest. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and scratch that series. Let me go ahead and start off fresh. And the first, you know, the first actual game is in this episode, man. So watch it all the way through. Um, now, I, I will be doing a, a, one last ride, man, for the revamp series. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all want, you know, quarterback, running back, wide receiver. And if y'all pick defense, I'm only probably going to do cornerback. But I know a lot of people are not going to vote on that. But as of right now, they're like running back at the leading position. So that's what it looked like I'm going to do. I mean, as y'all can see, this kid got low 4-4 four, four speed, high mid 4-4, four, four, low 4-3 four is high 4-4s, four, four, man. As you can see, four minute quarters, highs meant difficulty. And I actually played the game, but it really wasn't that, you know, that bad. But these are the sliders that I'm, that I'm doing. And the, the, the link, if you want to check out the slider, just in case, I don't want y'all to think I'm capping or not, but the link to these sliders will be in the description. I kind of tweeted just a little bit. You know, not by much, maybe about five or ten percent, not, nothing major. But this is, the, you know, the sliders I'm rocking with. I found them on Operation Sports, so that's the settings that I will be rocking with for this series. Like I said, will be this series. I'm trying to get a heavy hitter <laughs> or heavy hitters for the last hoorah. You know, first episode, Road to Glory, season revamp, and hopefully it's gonna be a banger, man. One of my biggest ever. You know what I mean? So I'm in the works of that. But until the meantime, until I get that revamp cooked up, y'all will be getting a heavy dose of this series. But we end up, you know, committing it to Houston. You know what I mean? And they got us finishing fifth in the Conference USA. That is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. But we're going to do our best. This is our schedule. Oregon, Penn, Sam Houston State. UTEMP is ranked number 24. Man, that is crazy. Southern Miss, you know, Tulsa. We got we got our conference, you know, after that. But our first two tests is against Oregon, man. So as a real life, I'm not gonna make this, you know, Houston just had no business beating Oregon, but I gotta stick around, man. It's gonna be a great gameplay, man. Hi everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herb Street. The stars are out, but it'll probably still feel like midday because the heat is unrelenting for this game between the Oregon Ducks and the Houston Cougars. We're ready to bring you what should be one intense football game. And here come the Cougars. The Cougars look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Oregon is tough on defense, and you're looking at the guy who runs the show. His versatility makes him one of the best safeties in the game, and he'll be all over the field as his team will win big. I agree with you on this one. Go Ducks! Quack, quack, quack! Now, here we are, first game of the season. We are playing at home against some Oregon Ducks, and y'all Oregon Ducks fans know 
even if you're not an Oregon, Oregon fan, bro, they are one of the teams that are fast paced and, and high power offense, man, to just keep things going and going. So we definitely got to be at a perfect game plan coming into this game. It's like when we get in the red zone, no mistakes, no fumbles, no interception. We have to capitalize on every opportunity that we get down there in the red zone. Now, as far as defense, bro, nothing over top. Keep everything in front of us. We're going to play probably mixing it up as far as zone coverage and man coverage. But more so, you know, this game, try to, you know, I feel like we got the athletes to compete with them. And I mean, especially on the cornerback position, we got some, 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 some flyers on. Well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say we got some burners, some high flyers at cornerback position, but. Oregon State said, yeah, we're going to test it out and see, man. But here we are, our first series on the offense, and it goes. Irwin with his first catch of the offensive season, man. That goes for nine second and inches. That boy Gerard with his first touch of his young college career, snapping ankles, breaking ankles, whatever you want to call it, man. That is a huge game, and that's a big first down. Like I say, this game, bro, no wasted opportunities. Every opportunity that we get, we have to take advantage of it. Singleton with a nice grab, baby. And that goes for seven, second and three, bro. And that's another thing I do not like, and I don't disagree with, you know, on Heisman, bro. They know our plays, bro. So we had to run a total opposite way because they know our plays. But what a huge run on his second rushing attempt on his young college career and as i spoke on when we get down here in the red zone bro we we have to capitalize man we have to we have to have a perfect game plan when we come down here because every trip that we come down here we got to come away with some kind of points and home is showing off his soft hands and that's just a first and goal now, as i said when we get down here no wasted opportunities man Especially against, you know, Oregon. Let's go. And this builds on the future because, you know, a lot of recruits, they're going to be looking at this game and, and, and wondering, you know, can we compete with no big time schools, man? So we definitely have to come to this game, you know, showing that not only that, but that we can compete with anybody. You feel me? So that's, that's one of the mindsets going forward in the future. All right. Second and three. Now, also, I know a lot of y'all was. Bro, what in the this safety is so slow, bro. Like no cap for real. This safety is so slow. And I just spoke on Oregon's is one of them teams where they can score within a blink of an eye, bro. Snap of a finger. But Holman is taking the handoff and that goes for yet another first down. This dude is already already over 50 yards rushing on the game. So that's one thing I know that early on that we can run the ball. As Toon gets it out to Tron, whatever his name is. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And that goes for nine. That's going to set up a second and one. And, oh, let's go first down. Pillar first down, but we'll take it, man. First and ten, three seconds left, two seconds left before the end of the first quarter. Throws a strike to quarter. Let's go. First and go. That boy Clayton Toon is having himself a game, man. Let's see if we can punch this in the end zone and make this a tie ball game. Let's go. It's first, yo. His second, I was going to say his first rushing touchdown. His second rushing touchdown on his young career. Oh, bro, come on. First down grab, man. And that's one thing. If you play, you playing press coverage on here and they beat your press coverage, bro. On here, they are not afraid to let the ball fly. I mean, they are not. As the running back takes a direct snap, and he is down the field with a huge gain. Like I say, man, the, our defensive front is not that strong. And I spoke on earlier, at some points, we're going to mix it up. But, you know, more so than off the, we're going to be playing a lot of a lot of zone coverage. I mean, of course, we're going to be playing a lot of man coverage, but for the most part, we're going to try to mix it up. You feel me? Nice handoff again. We make a great tackle, and I don't believe he picked up the first down. He did not. So here we are back on offense, man. 14 to 14 ball game. 
play action and what a blitz bro we had no time to sit around and look who we was gonna throw it to the pressure was in our face from the jump second and 15 taking a direct snap trying to get around the corner and it is definitely not gonna have his organs calling timeout they actually want the ball back man a direct snap oh let's go Bro, Oregon is really stepping up, man. And that, that 21 points, bro, I didn't record it, but they end up getting a punt return for a touchdown. So that's how it stands. And what they grab by Singleton. Let's go. But that's how it stands 21 to 14, man, because, you know, dude turned the Jets on them down the sideline. And that's how we stand 21 to 14. We throwing it deep. Bro, what in the hell? And this is a pick six, y'all. I ain't going to sit here and cap to you. It is a pick six. A pick six, bro. We are down bad, bro. It's just like all in a matter of two minutes, bro. They didn't put up 14 points. Bro, we, we just going to pray conservatives, bro. That's that's all we can do right now. We don't want to get these, you know, this team any more momentum that they already have. And, bro, I forgot how to throw the ball away. And Jenkins is hurt, bro. It's it's not looking good for us right now, man. It is definitely. Don't count us out yet, though. Let's go. Rogers with the I N T. Let's go. That's what we needed, man. 20, 29 seconds left. Let's see if we can cook something up, man, and get this team, you know, you know rejuvenated because we definitely needed. At the wrong fucking time, bro. Like nothing can go right for us right now, man. We are down 30 to 14. As Fidel takes the hand off, good, good push right there, man. And I, when I was playing this and recording this, y'all ain't gonna catch it. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. It felt good, man. I didn't feel mad. I didn't feel frustrated only because, you know, coming into this game, like I say, Oregon is it's, it's pretty much expected, man. The score shouldn't be the other way around. You feel me? So, like I said, it's going to be more realism in this series. And, you know, teams that, you know, we should blow out that we end up winning by one or two, maybe three points. You know what I mean? It's going to be a blowout. It's like our next game going to be a blowout against him, Houston State, man. It's pretty much going to be expected for us to blow their team out. And it's expected and it's going to happen. But it's going to be games like this, man. <laughs> that You know what I mean? Teams that we should blow out that we end up. You know, they they end up beating our ass. You feel me? So Singleton makes the first down grab right there. As we we are trying to get something going in his office, man. Most definitely trying to get something going, bro. We just gonna take what the what the defense gives us, man. Nothing forced because y'all know we didn't threw a pick six. You know, a catch and he got his ass. You know, end up coughing up the football, man. So it, it's definitely we gonna be conservatives right now, man. Taking what the defense gives us, and that is nearly a first down, third and one. Oh, they blitzing. Them linebackers are not moving. They, I knew it. I knew we could tackle in the backfield, bro. But, hey, fourth and four, we got nothing to lose, man. We got nothing to lose in first down. That's what we talking about, man. He's already over 100 yards, man, for his first time in his young career. Third and ten. To him, got a little wheel to him, man. We throwing it deep. Let's go. That boy Dale. Let's go. That's what we talking about, man. Let's cap off this drive with the touch, man. We, we scored a touchdown on this drive, man. And and that goes for a huge loss. I don't know where the blocking was on that on that last play, but second and goal. If we can come with a uh, uh, field goal is fine, man, but we want touchdowns right now. Definitely touched that. Look at over three minutes of drive, bro. We need this. Bro, we needed that. But we ended up setting it for three. That's okay, man. So we, we can't still kind of in this game, man. We got a whole nother quarter to go. Yo, you picked that. Come on. You got to intercept that, man. You got to intercept that. Tell me, man. He, he picked that off. That sets off the momentum. That, that the whole team is, is gonna go crazy, man. So that interception could be a game changer. And our defense is really doing good as far as controlling the ground game. 
They only got 49, 50 yards. We got already over under a century mark. So that's a good sign, a good plus for the defense. Let's go, baby. That's what we talking about. Start of the fourth quarter, man. Early in the fourth quarter, tune back to pass, and that is caught by Carter, and Carter goes for six, maybe seven. All right, second and two. Yeah, that's a fairly decent game, man. Fairly decent game. Oh, let's go. We'll take a minute, one, maybe two on the play. All right, third and one. This is the most effective play that I've noticed that gets positive yards, man. That direct snap. Because <laughs> all the other plays that I tried that I just cut out, bro, it just like, especially in practice, man. I was practicing a lot of other plays, and none of them plays really work effective. And, bro, what in the hell? That is, bro. <laughs> But this is like I said, I wasn't I wasn't I, I promise I'm gonna be real with y'all, but I wasn't mad, I wasn't upset, I wasn't gonna quit this game because it's realism, man. It's re this game is realism. So coming into this game, you this this is what you expect. You know what I mean? Or going going against, you know, a team like this. And we had to use it at catch right there as Carter with a nice crap. But like I say, coming into this the, the score is it, realism, man. It's, it's definitely realism. A power five school going against a non power five school. This is the score that you put him up to expect. A single tender with a nice crab, and he turns it upfield. And we are nearly knocking on the door. We are actually in the red zone. All kinds of time, bro. Why are you coming back to the ball, bro? This catch it, turn up field, get a lot more yards. But that last play didn't go for nothing, man. Second and 10. Oh, let's go. Bro, he dropped it. He dropped the touchdown. Yo, but that's what you call leadership, man. Tune to, hey, let's make a play next time. Oh, let's go. Erwin in the end zone, baby. That's what we needed, man. We still, it's still, a, it's still a game, man. It's definitely still a game. Our defense need to step up. Our defense need to make a play, man. First and 10. They going to try to make us use these timeouts, man. What they play to stop the play in the backfield, man. Let's go. As you can see, your boy Hallman got his first player of the game. Second and 11. Buck 21 left. Fourth quarter, man. We can we can do something with this. Let's go. That's what we talking about, man. Third and 10. Let's make a play. Get the offense back to football. Oh, let's go. Make a play. Let's go. Let's go. All right, baby, we got the ball back 42 seconds. Now, if we can do a quick strike, bro, and get on side kick, who knows what can happen. And we trying to take a strike deep at too much. You know, he should have took a little bit off that, but you hang the ball up in the air on here, bro. Y'all know people that play this, you hang the ball in the air. Them safeties, bro, look at the closing speed of that safety, man. And we draw. Oh, he caught that. Let's go. I was about to say, I, I didn't press the catch back too early, but. He ended up catching it. That's exactly what we needed, bro. 25 seconds left. Come on, man. On the ball. On the ball. Same play. Play action. Oh, run that. Bro, I wanted to throw that. <laughs> yo, hurry up. Spike the ball, man. Spike the ball. This, yo. It was a good game, though. Y'all y'all can't cap, man. Y'all cannot cap. It was a good game. As he spiked the ball, five seconds left. This is definitely one. This is a definitely good game, man. I can see myself playing on these sliders for real. So if y'all are asking what sliders I'm on, y'all can go back in the later in the video and pause it. And right here, oh, we thought we had one. One second left, fourth and seven. We're going to try to hit Earl because this play tends to work nine times out of ten. And let's go. Bro, if we didn't throw them two pick sixes, this would have been a totally different game. But tip my hat out to the Oregon Ducks, man. We kept fighting and fighting, bro. There's some ugly moments in this game that, you know, we can't take back. I mean, it is what it is, man. Tune, hold your head up, man. It's It's been a great game, man. It definitely was a good game. We owing ones to start the season, but look at that. Bro, look at that, man. That's what we talking about. If we can hang with the Oregon Ducks, man, the rest of our schedule is going to be, I want to say a cakewalk, but it's going to be easy. It's round five for eight. 154, two scores and interception. Nice, geezy. He, 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 he went off early in the game, man. For, what, for there, we held him in check, man. You know, Red had that long reception. Johnson had that long touchdown reception. But other than that, 
Nobody else on their squad stepped up. You know what I mean? The defense, they defense played lights out. Had two pick sixes by Stevens and Wright. You know what I mean? That's 14 points off the board. We didn't throw those, bro. We good. <laughs> I mean, we are good, man. But like I say, we can't take it back. It is what it is. And as our defense, you know, they they play pretty solid, man. Definitely pretty solid. It's Dale had a big game, man. No touchdown. But Irwin had two scores. Offense came around, like I said, the two, them two interceptions definitely really caught us, man. Definitely really caught us, man. If it wasn't for them two interceptions, man, as Hallman cracked over century mark, 105 yards, two scores. Two had a little rushing, man, but two interceptions, man, that's what did it. But it's your boy, say, all right, logging out to the next video, man. And I'm gone. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me And it's a secret everything that you done with me Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty Family, my nigga